questioning user asks, what's your theory you have but can't necessarily prove? Use it to this as ancient history now, but I 100% believe that Katie Holmes auditioned to be Tom Cruise's wife baby mama and she signed a contract regarding how she had to behave and how long she had to remain married to him, and, user 3 Mexico's former president married a soap opera actress a few years before running for president, but when it was already clear he would be his party's candidate. The media at the time paid a lot of attention to this, and many people interpreted this as the media grooming him for the presidency. Now that he's not president, he divorced her without any warning that they had troubles, giving more credence that the marriage was just for show, and, use it for those DNA tests that tell you your ancestors and genetic traits are actually a venture used by health and life insurance companies to get more data on genetic predispositions to diseases so they can squeeze more and more insurance money from people. And, user 5, I think there's some sort of traffic overlord who tracks me while I'm driving to try and make me angry. You would not believe the amount of yellow lights I have to stop at, the amount of green arrows the other side gets to prolong my stop even more, the amount of slow people I get stuck behind, and the amount of smokers I come up behind who at that moment feel the need to throw their cigarette out the window, and, user 6, the change to the way Sonic looks in the new Sonic movie was elaborate marketing it to attract attention and they had no plan to use the original design, and, user 7 every parent is a favorite child, and, user 8 that meme subreddits brainwash people into being completely loyal to the thing they are memeing about, I've noticed that subreddits that make fun have something whether it is a movie franchise, a TV show, or a politician etc, end up becoming a cult like environment after it gets more popular, and, user 9 our phones are listening to us, I've had multiple occasions where I talk about something with a person in real life, and then a few days later I'll start getting ads about it, I never looked anything about it up, once my friend told me he was going on a cruise to the Bahamas and we talked about that for a while, what he'd be doing there and where he was going, I never googled anything about that, but a few days later I was bombarded with ads for discount cruises to the Bahamas, similar things have happened with cars and even cranberry juice, and, use the 10 smartphone updates begin to degrade your phone once newer models are sold, and not just because the updates are meant for new hardware, at some point the updates will purposely make one model obsolete in order to secure more purchases on newer ones, and, user 11 Michael Jackson was about to start some shit and the government said not today, and, user 12 the city of Seattle's population has exploded in the last 10 years, it's good for the economy but has decimated the housing market, the music art scene, and basically all the cool little things that made Seattle an interesting place to live, nearby Tacoma is seeing this and in response, the populace is helping perpetuate the stereotypes that it smells bad, there's lots of druggies and crime etc just to keep the Google Amazon Microsoft crowd away, and, user 13 the TV and media entertainment industry is used to dumb down the general public, and, user 14 we have no idea who is really in power and pulling the strings, politics as we know it is just a charade created to make us feel we have some control and to distract us, the people in real power control the whole system and we only very occasionally see glimpses of it, and, user 15 robots with our men to help the environment will be our downfall, they all realize humans are the problem and exterminate us, and, user 16 the dramatic increase in food allergies is related to the amount of soap residue left on dishes, I this general feeling that the people who are the most likely to get food allergies seem to be the ones most obsessed with cleanliness, this would mean that the over obsession with cleanliness, perhaps also combined with energy efficient and water efficient dishwashers that don't wash dishes as well, has inadvertently increased soap consumption which kills the gut bacteria we rely on to digest these foods, and, user 17 that Dorito chips are getting thinner over time, and, user 18 life isn't binary, it's a scale, I believe humans are more sentient than deer, which are more sentient than bacteria, which are in turn more sentient than viruses and rocks, last summer, biologists managed to create an almost completely synthetic form of viable life, a variant of E. coli, which performed all the normal functions of a living cell, soon, it is expected that scientists will eventually learn how to create completely synthetic life from scratch, out of free molecules and amino acids, where in the process can someone precisely define life, is a completely artificial creation life or not, it's a bit confusing, and I think the answer lies somewhere in between, as most scientific definitions do, and, use the 19 black holes are tears in the universe, 
the matter collected and compacted and becomes the seed material for a Big Bang in another universe. So I believe there are many universes, dimensions, however you want to name them, but they are not parallel like in the movies, or sliders. Absolutely can't prove it and it's based on only the sciences. I understand it from fiction, but it seems to make sense to me. And, thanks for watching, please give a like if you enjoyed the video. Comment to tell me what you want to see more of and hit subscribe if you want to see more. See you later.